Purdue and we are actually doing a simulcast. I'm creating a YouTube as we do today's program and so I'm cutting the intro music off because we have a lot of ground I'd like to cover today and as you know we only have about 50 some Wednesdays in a year and this program is on Wednesday blog talk radio say a word about this and if you're blog talk radio it's uh, blogtalkradio.com forward slash drdue for those of you on YouTube you want to join us if you get this we'll be on for a while today today is the 30th day of March and we're gonna deal with a very difficult subject for some and not so for others. We're going to break some new ground. I just read a book, uh, I didn't read the book read. I read a cover to a book that I've seen talking about what's in the Bible and the critics were saying that this person that brought this book out really hasn't broken any new ground with regard to what's in there sexually. Well today we are going to break some new ground and we're going to and I've been saying this for, 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 for quite a couple years, but uh, didn't realize that book was out there. And so we're going to hopefully get to the subject of masturbation. If we were to title today's uh, broadcast or program, uh, as you know, we're doing a series called How Sexual Deviation Perversion Started. We're taking the Bible from Genesis to Revelation uh, each Wednesday and covering ground as quickly as we can but today is a major thing uh, should we get to it Genesis 38 and it deals with masturbation and I am going to share with you the conspiracy that has gone on with the church ministers of the gospel some of them and the medical community with regard to masturbation and so we're, we would call the program, if we were to actually title it, uh, Masturbation Liberation. And you will see an article very soon, uh, we're going to make that available on this subject, uh, on a, uh, a e-file, a little e-book, a little subject to deal with. So as you know we've been dealing with this for weeks and will continue as we go through this journey because see one of the things that we we've got to put on uh, another breakthrough that uh, apparently this person that wrote this book uh, didn't have in their document or they didn't say it was exactly what happened with uh, Satan or Lucifer or the devil in the garden with Eve and with Adam and I postulate I suspect that it had to be because if you understand that if Satan no longer has his position in heaven because of his jealousy and because of his I didn't say he's kicked out yet because he's not kicked out quite yet because he still can go back and forth but he no longer resides in heaven with God the Father but when he was there on the earth put place her on the earth and there in the garden I postulate and I, I actually this came from someone else and I, I agree with him uh, this this thing it, it had to be something of a perversion or of a deviation so whether this is the the correct one but it had to be something so uh, unusual and that is that Satan when he had the conversation with Eve, because remember they were in a state of innocency until all of this happened, they, they did the fruit, but I believe that Satan had sex with Eve. And then Satan, Eve, and Adam had sex. And then they were, if you follow the story on through, they were put out of the garden pretty quickly. And that from that point on because see Adam was the only person that was made uh, perfect in terms of when he was created and have any sin uh, God of course Jesus of course perfect all through but Adam the first Adam 
it's perfect and then imperfection came in and uh, that's how all of these things that we're talking about from that point forward once they were placed out of the garden that is how a man a woman boy girl were born in sin and shapen in iniquity and so when people uh, get upset with people that are uh, gay as they say or lesbian or transgender and, and, and especially the, the evangelical uh, Christians and, and, and ministers and what have you and say that God didn't make them and say that they are you know that God didn't make any junk and all the hurtful and harm and, and, and hurtful things that are said to these people they don't know what they're talking about because everything that God makes is, 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 is wonderful in God's sight even though it may not be perfect anymore it has life and so God has created all of these things allowed these creations to come into being because a man and a woman come together and because of the uh, sin and the stuff that it entered in the perversion it entered in we have all these things so it's no telling what would be born from our flesh whether it be a man a woman or male female a uh, hormorphodite uh, what have you all of it or a man or boy born thinking he's a girl and a girl born thinking she's a, a guy and, and on and on all various combinations they're God's creation and God loves all of his creation and he groans and waits for all of his creation to come back to him and so we want to to really make that clear because that I know wasn't a, well it may have been I, I, I I've got to read it I will read the book at some point when I get to it but in the meantime I'm gonna keep doing what I have to do and this is where I am and what I'm sharing in love and, and I welcome uh, prophetess Argina uh, who was here with us shortly and has gone on my wife you know we have a heart for God's people we have a heart for people period humanity and as an advocate and as a person who stands in the gap uh, with others uh, we stand with those who are laughed at who were ridiculed I think of the ridiculing that I went through as a child as a young person uh, so it, you know the bullying and all the stuff that people do people can be very very hurtful and very very mean just mean spirited to others particularly if you look different or if you, you smell different or you act a little different or what have you uh, but once people get the understanding that what they're looking at is a body it is a transport uh, equipment it is it is their the unit that gets them from here to there the real person isn't what they see the real person is the spirit that is the real person therefore uh, when they realize that that we are all created in the image and likeness of God in that God is a spirit he is not flesh he's not white flesh he is not um, brown flesh yellow flesh black flesh pink flesh God is a spirit and you just like me we are spirits and that is the real us and so it, it says if we're going to worship him if we're going to acknowledge him and be what he wants we'll worship him in spirit and truth not in flesh and truth or not in spirit flesh and truth flesh is no place in the the equation but our spirits become united so we're here to bust that bubble about Adam Eve 
and Satan. And then we're here as we get into the program later uh, we'll talk about masturbation liberation. That's our goal. We were working through, as you know, uh, we're working through the book of Genesis and uh, had just actually finished chapter 34. And so we'll continue on that. But just, again, we're, we're doing this with YouTube. So you YouTube listeners, uh, tell your friends about the fact that there is a man of God who is ordained by a Church of God bishop, old Pentecostal type bishop, some 20 some years ago, and has a wife who is ordained, who lives the Word of God, who believes the Word of God, but there's some things that have been taught over the last couple thousand years that are not right. And so I believe, along with others that God puts in the body, we're here to set the record straight. And so we will get into this whole program later on, again, masturbation, liberation. Now, because I know this YouTube's going to go off shortly, I want to say, give a couple plugs. Uh, I'm back on the air tomorrow evening with Say a Word About This at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And you can come and uh, I've I, I actually forgotten what we're talking about, but it'll be something provocative. It'll probably be something controversial. So come and hear it, but it's going to be from the Word of God. And you make the call. Because you can read. you And you can ask the Holy Spirit to give you understanding. Because if anything I say doesn't make sense, you ask the Holy Spirit. So you don't trust me, trust the Holy Spirit. Because he said he would bring all things to our minds. He said he would reveal. He's a revealer of all truth. So this is not done in some corner someplace. We're doing it here. And so you that's number one. So tomorrow evening, 8 o'clock, Mountain Standard Time. Govern yourself for wherever you are. Friday night, I'm back on the air with my wife, the prophetess Argina. I shared that with you. And we're on with her program. A program of ministry and prayer prophecy where she will be ministering and I will minister as well but she's the primary live conversations with a prophetess not a psychic and if you have questions about the difference between a psychic and a prophet prophetess go to my go back a couple of years in the blog talk radio and listen we teach and share with you the differences so there is no question of what is different between a prophet this a prophet and a psychic and then we're back on sunday the lord is just impressed in my spirit as a man of god who had been searching for a place to go having a membership a thousand miles away and the lord said no you need to establish a cyber ministry and so we've had a church we've had churches we've established churches well we are now ministering on Sundays at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And I'm telling you, if <laughs> I can only, I don't know what else God's going to do, but I'm telling you, if we went off the air now, I thank God for what he's done for the people that have been set free the last two weeks, the last three, three or four weeks, whatever it is. Uh, we've just had some just incredible things happen. And I believe God to do miracles to do healing, to do deliverance, to bring victory and joy. We're to be in joy now, no matter what's going on in the world. All this stuff is, is going to be happening. It's been happening. That's why we come on with that song, our first, our, our, our lead-in song. It happens every day. Something's going on in everybody's life. Nobody is perfect on this planet. There are no dis... There, there are no families that are not dysfunctional. It's, it's all happening. The only place where there is true joy, peace, and happiness, and that's when we allow our spirit to connect with the Holy Spirit and allow that to overshadow and bring us a peace, because otherwise everything else that's going on is a mess. But it's okay, 
because we have